now friends i will show you the derivation for Max maxwells inductance capacitance bridge let's make the bridge first we name it as a b c d and we connect a galvanometer across b and d which is connected to external power source in this circuit a known capa variable capacitance resistance is connected in parallel with a known non inductive resistance r1 and l1 are unknown resistance and inductance r3 and r2 are non inductive resistances even would be potential between ab E three would be potential between B C. E four potential between D C and E two would be potential between A D. Now let's find out the impedances. Z one. would be equal to r1 plus j omega l1 where r1 is the non inductive resistance and l1 is the impedance factor where omega is the frequency factor and j is the imaginary part for l1 z2 would be r2 z3 would also be equals to r3 there is no change in the phase of resistance then now z4 as c4 and r4 are in parallel we will find the impedance in uh, using parallel collection connections only for that we will solve we know that in parallel connection x would be equal to c4 r4 divided by c4 plus r4 we know c4 would be 1 upon j omega c4 capacitive impedance r4 divided by 1 upon j omega c4 plus r4 for the simplifying we get r4 further simplifying we get r4 by j omega c4 divided by j omega c4 r4 plus 1 divided by j omega c4 j omega c4 j omega c4 would get cancelled therefore r4 divided by j omega c4 r4 plus 1 would be r z4 
find the equation that is z1 z4 is equals to z2 z3 we will get r1 plus j omega l1 into r4 by r4 j omega c4 plus 1 is equals to r2 r3 further simplifying the equations we would get r1 r4 by j omega c4 r4 plus 1 and plus r4 j omega l1 by r4 j omega c4 plus 1 as j omega c4 r4 plus 1 is common is equals to r2 r3 as this is common we can take it to this side therefore the equation would be r1 r4 plus r4 j omega l1 equals to r2 r3 r4 j omega c4 plus 1 now we would multiply these two terms and we get r2 r3 from 1 plus r2 r3 r4 j omega c4 which is equals to this term or r1 r4 plus r4 j omega l1 now equating the real parts we, we can find unknown resistance r1 therefore r1 would be r2 r3 divided by r4 and equating the complex parts that means which contains j factor j omega l1 is equals to r2 r3 r4 j omega c4 we can find the unknown inductances j omega r4 would get cancelled therefore l1 would e be equal to r3 r2 c4 similarly we can find the q factor which is omega l1 by r1 omega l1 would be r2 r3 c4 divided by r1 that is r2 r3 upon r4 r2 r3 would get cancelled therefore omega r4 c4 would be our q factor the advantage of this bridge is that frequency doesn't appear in any of the inductive as well as uh, resistive equation it gives simple expression for r1 and l1 in terms of known bridge element it is useful for measurement of many range of inductances and audio frequencies disadvantage is that it requires variable standard capacitor which is very expen expensive the bridge is limited to measurement of low q coils the range of q coils for high q coils demand very high value of r4 that is 10 raised power 5 to 10 raised power 6 ohms which becomes very very expensive thanks for watching the video